What is going on ladies and gentlemen, Monkey Flop here and today I wanted to actually talk about error codes happening on applications and games. The error code that I'm getting right now for the PlayStation 4, I'm on my PlayStation 4 Pro by the way, error code is CE-34878-0. Now, these error codes don't just happen on the PlayStation 4 Pro. It happens on the Slim and the Fat PlayStations as well. And well, you can go ahead and click on report the problem and I'm not just going to I'm not going to put anything in there. I'm just going to report that I get the error code and it happened again. Um, a couple of things you can do. You can press on the option button and you can check for updates. If it already has updates, you might want to check and see if your PlayStation 4 is updated to the latest uh, system software update. If it is, then the next thing that you're gonna wanna do, okay, so here's the system software update. You guys can go ahead and click on that. And then if it is updated, then it should say that it's updated and you should be good to go. Another thing is, uh, you know, if you're still having issues, you might want to go into your settings and then, uh, you know, take off the the boost mode, maybe. If you're on the PlayStation 4 Pro, um, that can help as well. If you guys are doing, like, super sampling, um, you know, getting better graphics, that can be an issue, too. So, you might want to take off some of the high-performance stuff if you're on the Pro. But if you're just on the regular PlayStation 4 and you're experiencing issues with apps and getting error codes with apps... I emphasize apps, but I mean, you know, apps can be anything from Netflix to a video game. What you're going to want to do is, unfortunately for me, what I'm going to have to do for Titanfall 2 is I'm going to have to delete this bad boy. I'm going to have to delete it, and I'm going to have to re-download the thing. Uh, luckily for me, uh, my internet's not that bad, but for some of you other, uh, m some of my other peoples out there, it, it can be a drag. I mean, I know for me, it takes a while, but, um, you know, for other people, it can uh, take a little bit longer. So you'll just have to go back in and you'll have to download it again. Madam Eve is playing uh, all by herself and I have to just sit here and wait for it to download all over again. But um, I hope this helped out. Like I said, if you're experiencing issues with any of the games uh, and you're getting error codes or if you're experiencing anything um, with any of the apps and you're getting the CE error codes, most likely, unfortunately, um, after you've done all the steps that I've already told you to do, making sure everything's updated and then uh, going in and making sure, you know, if you're on the pro that you don't have boost mode on because that can affect it. And then also super sampling, just make sure you have the turned off because that can affect certain games too. Um, just make sure those are off. And then if you're still having issues, then like I said, you're going to have to go ahead and delete that game and re-download it. it. Well, if this helps you out at all, definitely let me know in the comment section below. I know sometimes I get frustrated and these type of tutorials help me out. Um, I hope it helps somebody else out there. I've, I know I've done some other, um, you know, some other tutorials similar to this, but this is more in regards to games and uh, apps on your PlayStation. Uh, so make sure to hit a like, comment down below, even if it's like, what's up, Monkey Flop? I see you. I appreciate you. If you guys are new around here, hit that subscribe button, bell notification. That way you guys stay up to date on all of the latest PlayStation 4, PlayStation Plus news updates, all that good stuff. So, you know. I keep you guys informed. I'll see you guys in the next news update. You guys are freaking awesome.